Sometimes the jobs that we get called out to do have everything to do with new construction. They're adding eight feet onto the house over here and the city requirements, the ordinance says that you cannot build within the drip line of the tree. So before they apply for a permit, they're having us trim eight feet back so that the drip line is now over here. Well, the real drip line is still out there, but if we get it cut back, then uh, they can probably get permit. Now, this is a really interesting example of where two trees grew too close together, and the resulting growth means that there are now two one-sided trees. And the tree on the right had several failures over the last couple of years. This one has not yet had any failures that I could see, but it's at the point where branches are getting really, really heavy. The job that we've got to do isn't exactly what I like to do, but I understand what they've got us <laughs> doing here. Um, yeah, so we got to cut back the whole side of this tree. I'm doing some outside shaping over the road on the left-hand tree. I didn't do anything on the right. This is kind of cool. I always enjoy getting up high in the bucket truck and doing a once around looking at the trees in the local neighborhood. Look at that row of Italian cypress there. You can see through each of those, but in about five years, that's going to be one big solid wall of green. A lot of conifers, a lot of big redwoods growing around, ash trees. There's uh, quite a distribution of different types of trees in our area. Some liquid ambers down there. And then look at this, right across the street. Whew, boy, that's a big redwood. Kind of dominates their whole yard. And there's a jacaranda down there. I'm going to talk about jacarandas in a little bit. That over there is a holly oak down below. Look at that jacaranda. Isn't that beautiful? But look at the volume of flowers on this particular tree. I'm going to show you some others. Then there's this. Ouch. Now I want to show you the amount of brush we took out. I'm just about done here. We chipped three times today, and this is the second chipping. And this is what the tree looks like when it's all said and done. I'm showing you this because I didn't open it up to sun scald. I left enough foliage, even though I cut it back all the way around. See on the right, it's a raywood ash about 40 years ago. And I actually planted two of them. I planted another one where this other tree is growing, which is also, it also looks like another ray, raywood ash. But unfortunately that tree died. The one on the right was uh, in trouble. There was a lot of dead up there. And there's a little bit more dead up there right now, but it's looking better. And in the backyard, we've got a Modesto ash that I worked on many times. And this is the most rotten tree that you've ever seen. The base is completely hollow and it just keeps sending out new shoots and it looks pretty good, but I know it's structurally in trouble. So for a few weeks every year, the jacaranda trees explode in flowers, some more than others. Look at this tree. This thing is just incredibly full and the ground shows all the blossoms falling down. It's kind of like a purple carpet of jacaranda. Well, here I go again. Free walking sticks. And if you scan this, it'll take you to my YouTube channel. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Saturday, the hikers are coming. <sighs> Wish I had a camera here, you know, like a something to observe the people that come and get these sticks. So far, I've given away 58 walking sticks. This makes it 68 in the uh, in the lot here. And I change them up. Sometimes I make them a little nicer. Sometimes I make them a little, little odd. That's kind of cool. There's one with birch. And there's a redwood. It's a lightweight one. 
There's a heavy one. That's a crepe myrtle. This one I didn't do any carving on. That's an old one. But let's see what happens. Now, a lot of people are asking me, why are you doing this? Why are you giving away free walking sticks? Well, these aren't my best walking sticks, of course. These are just, you know, quickly made ones and things I find on job sites. But I've got a, a real strong feeling about giving back. You know, my whole life, I've uh, I felt that, you know, people are always taking, 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 and not enough people are giving. And to give something to someone that I may never see again, very likely won't see again, for no reason whatsoever, might just plant the seed of paying it forward to somebody else. So I'm telling you guys, think about it, pay it forward.